uh, Bitcoin price is losing its upward momentum. Uh, but data suggests uh, traders are gearing up to buy any significant dips. Uh, Bitcoin soared above $35,000 on November 2nd, and that may have sucked in the aggressive bulls who speculated that the next leg of the up move was beginning. However, price quickly turned around and fell back below $35,000, signaling that the breakout may have been a fake move. A mild correction during an uptrend does not signal a trend change. It is generally a healthy sign as it shakes out weak hands. When markets are trending higher, the dips are viewed as a buying opportunity, but it is better to wait for the price to find a bottom before buying. Strong support levels could be watched in potential places where buyers step in to arrest the decline. Uh, MicroStrategy founder and executive chairman Michael Saylor said in an interview with CNBC that if traders hold a 12-month to 48-month time horizon, the current level is a pretty ideal entry point into the asset. The Bitcoin's weakness has pulled several altcoins lower. What are the important support levels where the decline could end? And let's get into it. So let's analyze the charts of the top 10 cryptocurrencies we're going to find out. Let's involve in the rumors, uh, Bitcoin surged about $35,280 on November 1st and tried to build upon this rally on November 2nd, but the bears had other plans. Sellers stalled the up move at $35,985 and are trying to sustain the price below $35,000. If they do that, the BTC USDT pair may skid to $33,390. This is an important level for the bulls to defend because if 33,390 cracks, the pair may fall them to the 20-day exponential moving average or $32,611. Uh, generally, in an uptrend, the bulls fiercely defend the 20-day EMA. If the level holds, uh, it will indicate that the trend remains positive. The bulls will then make one more attempt to kick the price to $40,000 if a break and close below the 20-day EMA will be the first sign that the bulls may be losing their grip. The pair may then tumble to $31,000. The bulls nudged Ether above the immediate resistance at $1,865 on November 2, but the bears pulled the price back below the level, indicating strong selling at higher levels. Uh, the bears will try to sink the price to the strong support at $1,746. This remains the key level to keep an eye on because a break and closer below it will signal that the bears are back in the driver's seat. Meanwhile, the bulls are likely to have other plans. They will try to buy the dips and again attempt to overcome the obstacle at $1,865. If they can pull it off, the ETH USDT pair could start a rally to the psychologically critical level of $2,000. Uh, BNB bounced off the breakout level of $223 on November 1st, indicating that the bulls are fiercely defending this level. And buyers tried to thrust the price above the $235 resistance on November 2nd, but the bears held their ground. This suggests that the BNB USDT pair is stuck between $223 and $235 for some time. The rise in 20-day EMA, $223 and the RSI in the positive territory indicate the path of least resistance is to the upside. If bulls kick the price above $235, the pair may jump to $250 and eventually to $265. And interestingly, the trend will shift in favor of the bears if they sink and sustain the price below $223. Uh, XRP is facing resistance near 61 cents. But a positive sign is that the bulls have not lost ground to the bears uh, or, you know, the, the buyers will try to drive a price uh, to the overhead resistance at 67 cents. So, you know, this level may again pose a strong challenge to the buyers, but if they bulldoze their way through, the rally could extend to 75 and subsequently to 85 cents. The upsoping 20-day EMA and the RSI in the overbought zone indicate that bulls in control. If bears want to make a comeback, they will have to yank the price back below 56 cents. The XRP slash USDT pair 
may then collapse to the 50-day SMA and a 52 cents. And Solana climbed above $38.79 on November 1st and reached near the target objective at $48. But the long width on the day's candlestick shows that traders aggressively booked profits at this level. The price rebounded off $38.79 on November 2nd, but the bulls could not sustain the intraday highs, suggesting that every rally is being sold into. The bears will try to build upon their advantage and sink the SOL USDT pair below $38.79, and if they succeed, it could start a downward move toward the 20-day EMA. Such a deep correction will suggest an end to the up move in the near term. The pair may then enter a consolidation phase for a few days. If bulls want to maintain their advantage, they will have to defend the $38.79 support. If the price turns up from this level with strength, the pair may retest the overhead resistance at $48. The Cardano snapped back from the 20-day EMA on November 1st and rose above $0.30, cents, indicating that the bulls are viewing the dips as a buying opportunity. Uh, that the price turned down from $0.33 cents on November 2nd, um, but the bulls did not see ground to the bears. Uh, this is a positive sign uh, as it shows that the bears, the bulls are holding on to their positions uh, as they anticipate uh, the uh, up move to continue. The target on the upside is $0.38. Cents. Uh, contrary to this assumption, if the price turns lower and breaks below $0.30, cents, uh, it will indicate that the markets have rejected the higher levels uh, the ADA USDT pair uh, could then slump to the 20-day uh, EMA and 28 cents. Uh, and Dogecoin rebounded off the 20-day EMA times 14 cents uh, on November 1st, but the bulls could not sustain uh, the higher levels. The price returned to the 20-day EMA on November 3rd, but the long tail on the candlestick shows that the bulls are fiercely defending the level. Buyers are again attempting to propel the price above seven cents. If they're successful, the Doge USDT pair will attempt a rally to cent eight fence cents. This level may again witness strong selling by the bears. On the contrary, if the price once again turns down from seven cents, it will signal that bears are selling on rallies. A breaking close below the 20-day EMA it will indicate that the bears are back in the game. The pair may then tumble to 06 cents. Uh, time coin rose to the overhead resistance of 231 on November 2nd, but the bulls could not overcome the obstacle. This suggests that the bears are defending the level with vigor. The absolutely moving averages and the RSI in the positive territory indicate that the bulls have a slight edge. A strong rebound off the moving averages will improve the prospects of a rally above $2.31. If this level is scaled, the ton USDT pair could start its journey toward $2.59. Instead, if the price turns down from uh, the overhead resistance and breaks below the moving averages, it will suggest that the pair may swing between a dollar eighty nine and two thirty one for a few days um, and Chainlink has been facing resistance near eleven dollars and fifty cents, indicating that the bears have not given up and continue to sell on rallies and the failure to sustain the higher levels may have tempted short term traders to book profits on November second and that pulled the price back toward the twenty day EMA at ten dollars eleven cents. So this is, a, this is a key level to watch out for on the downside. And if the rebound off the 20-day EMA sustains, it will suggest strong demand at lower levels. And the bulls will then make one more attempt to rise above $11.50, and they succeed. The link USDT pair may surge to $13.50 and subsequently to $15. Contrarily, a slide below the 20-day EMA may result in a retest of $9.50. Uh, is the alternative what uh, uh, we were we see 
you, you know, these that projects are ready, uh, but you know, I, the rising moving averages in the RSI near the overbought zone indicate that bulls have the upper hand. If bulls clear the overhead hurdle at 70 cents, the MAC USDT pair could rally to 74 cents and then to 80 cents. And I'm saying the bears are currently posing a strong challenge near the overhead resistance at 70 cents, um, but they will have to sink the price below the 20-day EMA to weaken the bullish momentum. The pair may then oscillate inside the large range between 50 and 70 for a while.